Paradise Lost, God's Judgment, Genesis chapter 3, verses 20 through 24. In the aftermath of Adam and Eve's disobedience, God pronounces consequences for their actions and sets in motion a plan for redemption. As they are banished from the Garden of Eden, a promise of hope and restoration is given, shaping the destiny of humanity. After Adam and Eve partake of the forbidden fruit, God addresses them individually, pronouncing specific consequences for their actions. To Adam, God declares that the ground will be cursed, and he will toil in labor to provide for himself and his family. To Eve, God foretells the pain of childbirth and the subordination to her husband. However, amidst these consequences, God also provides a glimmer of hope. God clothes Adam and Eve with garments made from animal skins, symbolizing the first sacrifice and foreshadowing the need for atonement. Then, God makes a promise, stating that the seed of the woman will one day crush the head of the serpent, alluding to the future victory over sin and evil. To prevent Adam and Eve from eating from the tree of life and living forever in their fallen state, God places cherubim and a flaming sword at the entrance of the Garden of Eden, guarding the way to the tree. With this act, God ensures that humanity's redemption will come through a different path, leading to a future where the consequences of sin can be overcome. This chapter in Genesis marks the turning point in humanity's relationship with God as the consequences of disobedience are revealed, but so is the promise of redemption. It sets the stage for the unfolding story of God's plan to reconcile humanity to Himself through the ultimate sacrifice of His Son.